guys, welcome back to Care DIY. What? Today we have a Cricut sponsored video and I'm so excited to show you guys what I have made. We are gonna be decorating a terracotta pot with our new Cricut Joy. Thanks so much to my friends at Cricut for sponsoring this video. I get to show you guys one of Cricut's newest cutting machines, which is so cool because look how small this thing is. It's literally portable and you can take it wherever you want and craft wherever you want. How awesome is that? Y'all know I love my Cricut maker, but with the Cricut Joy being this small, who can resist just falling in love with this thing? It's amazing. I'm gonna show you how to use this. I'm gonna show you how it can just connect right to your mobile phone and with a click of a button, you can just print. I'm gonna show you how to use the vinyl and put the vinyl on the terracotta pot. And I'm also gonna show you how to put the rhinestones on, but obviously the rhinestones are just optional. I wanted to pizzazz and little, add a little razzle dazzle to <laughs> my project, but totally the rhinestones are definitely um, optional. Now with the Cricut Joy, this can easily be a 10, 15 minute project, minus putting on the rhinestones. I'm going to list all of the supplies down below, so don't feel pressure or anything. I'm gonna list the supplies down below, and I'm gonna also put the links down below so that you can find everything that I used down below to make this project. So enough talking, let's get started on this project. And also, before I get started, make sure you watch to the end of the video for a special announcement. So without further ado, let's DIY, guys. Okay, so once you have your Cricut set up to your mobile phone, you're going to simply just upload the image. I'm gonna link the image down below that we are using in the picture right here. And you just want to upload it into your Cricut design space. Once you have that, I'm taking apart the layers so that I can print out only what I wanna print out. I'm not gonna use the whole face, obviously, because the skin color um, we don't need and little parts of the eyes. I don't want them to be um, filled in with the vinyl. I want them to be taken out. So on the screen on the right hand side where the layers are listed, I'm going in and hiding the layers that I'm not going to use. And by hiding that, I mean I'm clicking the eye so that the eye is um, crossed out so that you don't see that. And I like to take the layer apart just to make sure it actually isn't completely attached to make sure that they print separately. So we're gonna make this a little bit smaller so we can see the full picture of it. Okay, so now that we can see the full picture, usually with images you can just click the eye and it'll hide the layers, but when you have an SVG that's already put together, you're gonna to have to use contour. So we're gonna use the contour feature for this to take apart the pieces that we don't want to also print out that are actually attached as layers and that can't be detached. Okay, once we have everything layered out, we're gonna resize it and as you can see, the final size is, the width is 4.55 and the height is 5.90. That's the exact measurement that we are gonna use to print our image out at. Okay, looks good, so we're ready to cut. And because we are using Smart Vinyl, we are able to use the option to cut without a mat. And I like to save time, so I'm going to take the other image, which is the lips, and move them over to the other mat because one, it'll save time, it'll save vinyl, it'll cut together, and we won't have to go and unload the mat more than you know is necessary so we're going to save that on that and then the last image we're going to print out by itself because it's larger just like any other cutting machine you're going to go ahead and select the material for this we are using smart vinyl permanent and we're just going to click it and we are ready to go ahead and print the images out And another reason that I love the Cricut Joy so much is because the Cricut Joy uses smart materials, which are different from other vinyl and paper. These materials are designed to work without a cutting mat, so there's less to buy and less to transport. How easy is that? Right from your phone, you can follow along with the cutting process. And as you can see, even though the Joy is smaller than the other cutting machines, it has just as much speed and just as much accuracy as the other 
cutters. Now with the Smart Vinyl, the Joy will detect how much vinyl you have and how much vinyl you'll need for the project so you don't have to pre-cut, which ultimately all ends up being an easy cleanup. Now I don't know about you guys, but this is my favorite part. The weeding part is just so therapeutic to me and I love having to weed my projects out. So I'm not gonna talk you through this part. I'm just gonna let you watch. Now, if I would have used the good sense that the good Lord gave me, I would have made the transfer tape wider or taller so that it would fit the eyebrows in it too and I wouldn't have to have done it separately but here we are so I did the glasses and the eyes first and put it on the pot and then I went back and I added on the eyebrows and it just measured out perfectly Now because I'm extra and y'all know I love Razzle Dazzle, I decided to add rhinestones to the pot to give it a little better, you know, a better look. So I used E6000 and some rhinestones. I will link the rhinestone company down below. And I just basically put the rhinestones around the glasses and on the lips. And I'm going to speed this up because it is a longer process. It does take a little bit of time to put the rhinestones on, but all in all, it may have taken me 20 minutes or so to put the rhinestones on. It wasn't that much of a task. Now my glue had a wider nozzle, so some of the glue did get on the outside part of the outside of the vinyl, but don't worry, it does dry clear and you really do not see it once it dries. Like any craft person, I had some extra fabric laying around and I wanted to put the little head wrap on the top. I actually seen a similar design in one of my Facebook groups and I loved it. So I was like, oh, I have to add the head wrap. So I went out and I got a plant from my local produce junction. I cannot add the link for the plant, but Home Depot, Walmart, Lowe's, a grocery store you can find plants at this time and you can plant whatever plant you want inside of the pot and I mean the plant really does add to the whole look I mean I know that it's for a plant but some people don't use terrapotta plants for pots for actual plants but I really did enjoy the overall look with that plant in there and there you go I love the way it came out I love the look Y'all, I cannot believe that once I added the soil and the plant into the pot, it made these like little blemishes. I'm sure that it, once you like actually put water in it to water it, um, the coloration, you know, the coloration of the pot changes. So it just looks weird on the camera. So I'm super sad about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you comment down below. Let me know what you thought about it. Let me know what I should add next time. Let me know what projects you want to see in the future. But also don't forget to subscribe and click the button so that you're notified each time I upload a video. And for this special announcement,
I am giving away a Cricut Joy to one lucky person. So head over to my Instagram, which is listed right here, and follow the instructions there. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.